Thanks for watching the screencast. The objective of the screencast is learners will be able to write the equation of a linear function given two points on the line. So reviewing quickly uh, from the previous screencast, this is the point slope form of a line. And you know by now that any time that you know both the slope and one point on the line, you can write its line equation. You can put the slope here in place of m. You can put any ordered pair x comma y in place of x sub 1 and y sub 1. The problem we're going to solve in this screencast is how do I write the line equation if I'm given two different points? So I need one point. I've got one point, but what I need is the slope. What I need to find is the slope. Thankfully, I remember from previous work, that if I need to find the slope, that's just change in y over change in x. So the, the method for finding the slope was to either use a formula or I think what was modeled mostly in our classes was the idea that you can make a little table out of these two ordered pairs. Negative 3 comma 5 and 1 negative 3. The change in x, what do I do to go from negative 3 to 1? That would be add 4. What do I do to go from 5 to negative 3? I need to count backwards 8. I need to subtract 8. So the slope is change in y over change in x. Negative 8 over positive 4. Which divides out to negative 2. And now... I can use the point slope equation to write the line equation. y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. I know the slope goes right here. Which point should I use to put here and here? Well, it really doesn't matter. I could pick either one I wanted to. So I'll pick this one. So I'm going to plug in the x and y coordinates of that point here. I'll put the slope here and I'll have my line equation. So I've got y minus negative 3. I'm going to write that as y plus 3 equals, now I need the slope, negative 2 times x minus the x coordinate, which is 1. And all that's left to do in this example is to write it in slope-intercept form, just like before. I'll take my negative 2 and distribute the negative 2 here. So y plus 3 equals negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2. And lastly, I'll take this positive 3 and make it a negative 3 on the right side which makes my line equation answer y equals negative 2x minus 1. Quick check to see if both points work in the line equation. If I let x be negative 3, negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5, which is why that works. Let's check this one. If I let x be 1, two, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, which is why here they both work. That must be the answer. Here's another example. Write the line equation of the linear function that contains these two points. I need the slope, so I'll make a quick little table to find the slope. I'll put negative 6, negative 1 as one ordered pair. I'll put 0, 3 as another ordered pair. The change in x, what gets from negative 6 to 0, I need to add 6. My change in y, what takes me from negative 1 to 3, I need to add 4. And the slope is change in y over change in x. I've got two positive things, which makes the slope positive. I can reduce this fraction 4 sixths because 2 divides into both. Let's write that as 2 thirds. 
And now I can write my line equation, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Which point should I use? Well, again, it doesn't really matter. I think I'll use this one. So I've got y minus 3 equals 2 thirds times x minus 0. Now distributing my 2 thirds might be a little bit tricky in some cases, but in this case I'm multiplying 2 thirds by 0. So all I'm going to get is y minus 3 equals 2 thirds x minus, you know, anything times 0 is just 0. So my finishing move to add 3 to both sides will give me a final answer of y equals 2 thirds x plus 3. Okay, this one's for you to try. Hit pause, give it a shot. And when you think you've got it worked out, hit play and get some feedback. We need to find the slope first. So I like to use the table to find the slope. Negative 3 and negative 4. 6 and 2. My delta x to get from negative 3 to 6 is I need to add 9. My delta y, what takes me from negative 4 to 2, I guess I need to add 6. So my slope is positive 6 over positive 9, and I can divide both of those by 3. How about 2 thirds? So to write my line equation, I'll use the point slope form, which point should I use? Maybe I'll use this one. How about y minus 2 equals 2 thirds times the quantity x minus 6. Now, I do have to be careful distributing here this 2 thirds. I'm going to get y minus 2 equals 2 thirds x. I want to remember that trick from the last screencast. To multiply a fraction by an integer, it's always top times number divided by bottom. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. And the last thing I need to do is I need to take this negative 2 and I need to add it to both sides. How about a final answer of something like y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. Okay, I want to show you what I call an odd example. And the thing that's odd about it is that both of the points have the same x coordinate. And I would also call it odd if both of the coordinates had the same y instead. Uh, what I see is the same x both places. To write the line equation, it might be easier just to draw this out. So let's try that. Make a sketch. Don't worry about making an accurate graph. I need 5, negative 2. Which should be right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is x. Negative 2 is y. The other point I need is 5, 4. It would have the same x, but a y up here. What kind of line is going to go through that, through that set of points? It's a vertical line. Didn't draw it very well. But it's a vertical line. The equation of that is not difficult to write, we just have to remember how to write it. I need the line equation that says that every x value is 5. It's just x equals 5. That's my answer. I think making the sketch here is actually less work than trying to find the slope uh, and, and use a, a line equation to write this line equation. I think you're better off here. 
I want you to try one like this now. Pause the video, try making the sketch in this odd example, and see if the sketch helps you just write the line equation. These two points have the same y value. They have the same y value. So I want to make a sketch to see if I can figure out what the line equation ought to be. I need 3 comma negative 2. x is 3, y is negative 2. And I also need negative 1, negative 2. That would be back 1 and down 2. This is a horizontal line. And a horizontal line has an equation in this case where we want to say that every y value should be negative 2. It's just y equals negative 2. That's the answer. All right, it's time for you to try this on your own. As always, thanks for watching.